Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. INEC redeploy ICT staff from Abuja over Obi Atiko's case against Tinubu as they head to Supreme Court. So the ICT staff, the head of ICT, has been redeployed. Uh, this now, this one now, the cause trouble. You no know, say after presidential election tribunal, the appeal they gave their own uh, judgment. The matter never still end for them. No, it never end. Though. Atiko and Obi don't tell us that they go Supreme Court now. And the um, Supreme Court will consider all the evidences and facts that has been placed to them again. They will look at everything again. Supreme Court will go ahead and they will, you know, they will look at everything. And so, we, you know, say INEC, one of the requests of Obi and Atiku, I believe, if both of them was that they want to ensure that, you know, the, the, the INEC documents are inspected. Okay, we want to see the records. But INEC never brought it to court. However... The judges, the five panel judges, go, went ahead and pro made pronouncement. Yes, so we don't know if the Supreme Court will demand for this. We don't know. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. INEC redeploy redeployed ICT staffs from Abuja over Obi Atiku's case against Tinubu. A claim has been significant on social media alleging that the Nigerian Election Commission, INEC, is relocating all ICT staff from Abuja ahead of the re ahead of the Supreme Court issue coming up. There is no information indicating to the claim on INEC website. However, facts are beginning to emerge that this could be a possibility. A redeployment exercise back in August 2023, staffs of the Independent National Electoral Commission transferred at the time were not exclusively to ICT persons alone. But these are some of the things going on. Amidst all going on now, social media has, the various claim has come that there is redeployment of the ICT department staffs, you know, and their information technology communication department. These are all being redeployed because um, they don't want people going or taking over and going there to see what's happening with the ICT department as they want it secret. So these are some of the things going on. INEC has also come up to say that, yes, there is redeployment. However, it is not it is not local to just ICT staffs. You know, that is not local to ICT staffs. Other people have also been, you know, being redeployed from one area to the other. They're just, you know, reshuffling the staffs here and there. And it's not particular just to one area. So this is what INEC have to say. There is redeployment of staff, but INEC is saying, you know, it is not a, it is not mainly for one just for one area or just one person, it is actually, you know, it is actually cutting across the lines, you know, that um, they are redeploying, but it's for everybody, it's not just for one group of people. So this is what is happening right now. And every single person can see that it is time for us to really march forward and to ensure that we do what is needed and right to change the course of what is going on today. As you and I can see, Nigeria belongs to us and we must do all that is needed and right to change the course of what is going on. You see, um, I next say, we say, yes, the, the move starts all around, but it is not uh, because of anybody. It is not because of uh, Ubi or Atiku. Now, some of the questions that arose during the whole um, <clears throat> presidential election tribunal um, judgment was that some of the issues okay, that were raised Regarding INEC, we are not addressed. INEC, for instance, had a law binding it. And part of this law is to tell Nigerians within a speculated, a stipulated period of time when, you know, how they will transmit results. They told Nigerians, they should tell Nigerians. So they can choose any means, it's up to them, any means whatsoever. I next choose to say they will make sure that it is done electronically through the uh, 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 Ivers and um, you know Beavers, and you can people can just see the result, and you know the people can just go ahead and you know and see the result, and uh, you know appropriate numbers accordingly, and 
you will not even need the calculations to be given to you. We will know the winner automatically. However, I haven't looked at everything. INEC did exactly the opposite. This was part of the issues that we raised that INEC, for, for Peter Obi, that INEC did not follow its own guidelines. But nothing was done. INEC was not prosecuted because this whole election issue came up and became serious because of INEC position. INEC did not follow her own guidelines. And yet, nothing was said about that. INEC did not follow, nothing was said about that. Nothing whatsoever. So, you know, uh, after the judgment has been delivered, Obi and Atiko have said they are heading to the Supreme Court. Yes, yeah, they are going to the Supreme Court and everybody is saying that we agree. You know, uh, however, the Supreme Court, if we want to be honest and sincere, have to do what we call a thorough job. Looking at all the evidences again, you know, the evidences that we have presented. Is there something that the appeal court missed? Why these people still feel discontented? Hence, they are contesting it and even moving further to say, let's see what the Supreme Court will say. Because when you take a case to the high court and you are not happy, you can appeal the, court, the case saying the judgment that was given by the high court, I'm not happy. That's fine. At the appeal court, the appeal court will, con will look at all the evidences that the high court that the high court looked at, and if in case they've missed anything, the judgment could be overturned or upheld. And after, if you are still not contented, the highest authority in the land, as regards the judiciary, is now the Supreme Court, where a panel of uh, you know chief justice will look at the case optimistically, in quotes and unquote, supposedly. And look at all the opinions and options and evidences and scrutinize it again and again. And if, truly, sincerely speaking, there, are, there is something that has been omitted that should have been considered, you could be vindicated, given your allocation, and much more could follow. So whether you like it or not, these are some of the, you know, this is how, you know, the whole proceedings go. And so the whole matter now is becoming very evident for all to see. The high court, the appeal court, you know, they are all coming up, you know, uh, you know, the appeal court has given its judgment. Still, people are not very happy, not comfortable, not contented and saying, okay, Atikwa Nobi says, okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm moving and I'm going to, you know, going to the next level. People have come up to say, oh, you are wasting your time. Why would you want to do that? Mention but a few, you know, however, these are some of the things that are happening now. And everybody can see that, you know, we cannot continue with the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.